Hello everyone, Biff here. Time for another Biff's Bit. Today I'd like to focus in on the different mediums that I have used to create unique play surfaces for the missions that I have developed uh, during the course of my engagement with the game of X-Wing. Um, in my missions that I have developed, I'm very much trying to immerse the players in the Star Wars universe. And as much as I love the Fantasy Flight rubber mats uh, that are available uh, and the imagery that is provided by them, oftentimes that imagery is not consistent with the mission or the scenario that I'm trying to immerse my players in. So I figured out a couple of ways to create unique play surfaces that fit the theme but are relatively inexpensive to, to, um, to make. And I've, I've dabbled with three different mediums and how to um, mount them, if you will. And I'd like to just touch on the mediums uh, today. So when I first got started with, with X-Wing, um, I was very much engrossed in the trench run scenario that Dagobah Dave had developed. I went out and found a really nice uh, image online for uh, Death Star terrain. Um, I found that image and I stitched it together in a freeware program called Paint.net. Um, and when it came time to actually print the, the play surface, uh, I did a little research and wound up settling in on paper as my first go. If you uh, have a FedEx Kinko's in your neighborhood or around you, you can run black and white copies on their 36 inch roller printers at a fairly cheap price uh, a three foot wide that's maybe three feet long uh, to six feet long can can run you in the neighborhood of about twenty dollars uh, so real quick you can get a nice high quality image on the paper uh, this is an example of a paper image this one happens to be for my imperial star destroyer uh, scenario, but it's printed on on uh, uh, just paper. It's black and white or grayscale printing, so it's really cheap. Uh, you can't really see the full width in the view, but it is three feet, three feet wide here. But again, this is a perfect surface to go ahead and, and put out on a table to play upon. Uh, one of the issues that I encountered with the paper is, you know, storing it. You roll it up. It's hard to take that roll out of paper. Um, you almost have to tack down the corners with tape or something, and after a while, the tape starts to eat away. And the paper itself isn't very resilient. So I took the next step in evolution of my play surfaces. I took the um, printed paper and then wound up mounting it onto poster board. That made it a lot more durable. It was a little bit of a different challenge as far as how I'm going to transport it, but the durability definitely uh, went up. Uh, by mounting the, the simple paper printout onto poster board. After that, I, uh, I wanted to get something ready for, for Gen Con, and uh, I wanted that to be a very vibrant, colorful, <laughs> if I could, play surface. Um, so I investigated a couple of options at that point um, and settled in on, uh, you might be surprised, fabric. I found an online uh, store. It's called uh, Print by De um, I'm sorry, Fabric on Demand, that can take a custom image and print it onto fabric. Um, they were very, very helpful in in having me select the correct fabric because there was some concern about shrinkage in the process of printing and washing the fabric. But they helped me tremendously on selecting the right fabric. And as you can see, uh, you do get color print. But I wound up printing on the fabric, and that became a new medium. I was able to cut it out and use some adhesive to bond it onto the wooden surface that you see back here. Uh, that is what um, I'm using for the Gen Con Death Star Trench Run map. So that's the other medium that I've experimented with, and I've been very, very happy with the results. I always get a lot of positive statements at the conventions when the map comes out. Um, the look is great. The feel of it is great. Um, it almost has a 3D type quality without actually being 3D. The last um, area that I started to dabble in um, with uh, unique play surfaces has been printing on vinyl. Um, I have found a few 
companies that will do custom imagery onto vinyl. Um, the one in particular that I've been really happy with lately has been a company called uh, Mats by Mars. They again will take imagery. Uh, this particular roll that I'm holding on to would, would wind up being a three foot by six foot, six foot, sorry, three foot by six foot image that they print onto this very durable vinyl. Um, what I like about this vinyl is it has a little bit of a grain to it, so it's not as slick and slippery as other um, vinyls. Uh, I think even in the imagery you can kind of almost make out with the way the light is uh, falling on the uh, vinyl. You can almost see the grain or texture to the vinyl. Um, so that helps a little bit with uh, the slipping of the plastic bases and so forth. But the, the, the print quality is phenomenal on the vinyl map. Um, and again, it's very, very durable. The other thing that I like about it in comparison to the rubber mats is when you roll it up, it's a lot smaller diameter than the rubber mats because the rubber mats are quite thick. Um, outside of that, um, it's just been, just been great to have the different types of mediums. Uh, the I should I suppose I should talk cost the fabric uh, when I printed out the fabric for a 48 by 50 area came out to be about $80 uh, in total for that printing and this vinyl mat uh, again that was three foot by six foot uh, came out to be some in the neighborhood of 60 to $70 for this mat uh, I have also printed a uh, three foot by I'm sorry, four foot by six foot map, uh, same image, um, and it was in the neighborhood of about $90 for that one. So you have a lot of options out there, things you can explore with as far as the different mediums to print your custom imagery on for your next mission. That's all for now. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to help us continue improving and expanding our channel's content.